G'day, I'm Roland Hearn and this is a walk in the garden. Actually, I'm obviously not in the garden this morning, I'm in the car and doing an early morning run to the airport uh, for my first trip since the uh, start of the COVID uh, crisis. So, uh, um, not really sure what we're going to find today. My uh, lovely wife is driving me to the airport, but if I showed her at this point in time, she'd be a little bit upset with me. So I'm not going to do that at risk um, having three days of silence. Nevertheless, um, I want you to come with me. I'm going to see if I can find a garden. I'm headed to Sydney. See if I can find a garden and do, uh, do the um, video there. The airport drop-off is very quiet for obvious reasons. This is it, the first trip for uh, three months and um, there's a little bit of uncertainty about how it's all going to go and so I think that's what I'm going to do my walk in the garden about. Um, the way the feeling of uncertainty, that plane go over, the way that the feeling of uncertainty impacts us and why that is true. So here I am in Sydney. This is Bass Hill, and I'm looking out my hotel window looking for a, uh, a garden to go to. Well, it's a little bit of bushland, I'm not sure it's a garden, uh, but that's where I'm going to head and uh, conclude my comments about uncertainty. So the plane ride down went uneventfully. I wasn't, because this is still um, the early stages of opening up after um, there goes a the helicopter. Not having much luck. I'm uh, I'm uh, a thousand kilometres south and still dealing with uh, with um, aeroplane noise. Um, because of the uh, the COVID situation, things are opening up. Um, where I'm not completely certain of what's going to happen next. Came down on the flight from uh, from Queensland to New South Wales, no problem at all. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about what might happen heading back and uh, because Queensland's been much cl more closed than New South Wales through this process. I have my border pass, but now we're in a time when there's been a spike in COVID cases in Victoria. So I have a little bit of uncertainty and that uncertainty is, um, is making me feel concerned. Not much more than that, but I am a little concerned. But uncertainty, let's talk about that. Uncertainty is a part of life, isn't it? Um, there is very few things that we can ever be certain of. But there are times when we face situations where we are so uncertain that it can create uh, a sense of um, fear for us, and perhaps even enough fear for us to uh, feel um, incapacitated at some level. There are certainly occasions in my life where the feelings of uncertainty have been so um, overwhelming as to not want to do anything about them or about the situation. Why is that the case? Well, we all have different personalities, we have different experiences, we have uh, different outlooks, we have different worldviews, but whatever, however that mix comes together, we all carry with us a sense at, at uh, a deep level that maybe my life uh, isn't worth very much. And we cover up that uh, fear with, uh, with trying to be in control of our situations, however that works for us. Situations of uncertainty put us in places where we can potentially be uh, exposed, or at least we fear that we can potentially be exposed. And as that fear grows for us, uh, it, it it increasingly makes it difficult. Makes it difficult for us to respond to our circumstances. But here's the thing: the walk in the garden tells us that we are, in fact, love. We are, in fact, incredibly valuable. And no matter what our circumstances say to us about ourselves, the truth is we need to carry a sense of identity with us everywhere we go that says my life is valuable I have meaning I have worth and so when we find ourselves in a situation of uncertainty that begins to grow uh, into a place of fear then 
uh, we need to be doing things that help remind us of how much uh, we are loved and we are valued. Maybe that's talking to friends, maybe that's um, doing something that we feel uh, competent at, or maybe it's just taking a break from our situation. Talking with friends and family is a really good idea. But you know what? The saddest thing is, is that it is that sense that can lead us to feeling alone and isolated and disconnected in such a way that we, we don't even know how to reach out to people. It's why it's really, really important for us in this journey in the garden to be open and vulnerable um, with the people that we love and with the people that have journeyed with us. And so my encouragement for the week ahead is be connected, be vulnerable, be open, and keep walking in the garden. Well, here I am back in Brisbane. Everything went well. Didn't have any problems. The, uh, while there was a spike, um, even in Sydney, while I was there in the, in the COVID cases, um, my plans and uh, the border pass that I prepared were all completely adequate. And so there was nothing to worry about. And that's not unusual uh, when we're dealing with our uncertainties and our fears. Our imagination gets in the road and uh, we start picturing things that could potentially happen. And that's why the, um, the, the idea of vulnerability is so important because we get to share what's, um, what we've internalized and what we've imagined with others and they help to give us perspective. I think next week I'm actually going to uh, speak about uh, the importance of vulnerability to the walk in the garden. So come and join me then. But until then, just keep walking in the garden. See you then.